two more children have died as a result of suspected food poisoning, this time on the West Rand of Gauteng. Their deaths come just days after three youngsters died in Soweto allegedly after eating poisoned biscuits. As in the Mayeye and Otalive and Kachuka are the latest children to die. Our reporter Mangoba Mkunu is tracking the story and he joins us now live. Mangoba, I know you are going uh, finding the families that have lost uh, their little children. What are they telling you? Well, they're quite devastated, Masiho. As you can imagine, uh, these are young children, just two years and three years old, really at, uh, you know, their prime uh, in terms of, you know, their youth. And, uh, you know, the families are still trying to piece together really what happened and why their children were killed. So they are confused. There's uh, anger. Also, uh, there's a lot of grief uh, and the emotions are still raw as they still try to really understand how their children died. But uh, I've got another family here, and this is the family of three-year-old uh, uh, Otalive Nkachuka, who was playing uh, with uh, uh, Azine and two other friends. We understand that Mama, uh, uh, the other friends are in hospital, but when uh, because well the mother saying that uh, she is quite broken uh, she still can't believe what happened she says it's uh, you know especially in the mornings because she knows his routine uh, she's reminded every time uh, you know when uh, you know the morning comes uh, she would recall or remember her child uh, because of what used to happen the activities that they used to do in the morning so umama quite sad as you can hear masi Jose still quite devastated by what happened. But Mama, I'm going to just almost try to look at the question again. Is it really to work on the one who is a part of the strategy? Okay. What I want to be, I think it's been about 11. I'm going to go to the house. It's going to be a business. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Unabe <laughs> Okay, mani na masuiti, mani tindi ya mchongo mtani, upuma amatama ninzi. Aka kwa diambiza, ota, aka kwa zutetu. Ota, laki voice ya kengachu kwenye tuwe shell up, kwa isabel. Dimba, medimisha, mna nguifama like, mwile kuba kuchisi lang. Dimka lele ngamani, still aka vuk, ndikele na ipansi, ndimbege esfubi. Since ke evele watula, inga sava aka lukteta watula, sade salinda i transportu basi mse, eh, spele. So, shonele zante nzaku ma? Eh. Well, Masiko, the mother explaining the pain uh, that she suffered having to lose her child. Uh, this child died in her arms. She says she uh, says that the child had come back uh, around about one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, complained of uh, uh, illness and not feeling well, and uh, she, the child was holding his stomach. She thought that he, uh, you know he was just uh, you know fainting because of the heat, but uh, only to find his condition worsening. And she says that she then picked him up, and uh, this is where he just took the turn for the worse and died, uh, as she says in her arms. So, Mama, Nina, kona ni msola yanga lo kunoma nsolo kututi yine nze gile ngempela la ni solo kuti bafega njana bantuan. Hey, mna kwa ndi sola yu kusiza vaklaku buyu ba bantuan na basula yu ganjana kwa zbona bati baki ya mazimba ena ngeke u piki sindwe tetongu mtani. Iye na kanga azpenulele kwa zibi nga sa wazu tetu. Si venge chomi ya kebe amba na yu. So si kolo alondu si za vaklawe buye za tuba zitini babula wendu wana bantuan. Ama poisa penya wana ni vulili kezi? Pai, kubesi sekiranya kepai, lento, 
e pegesta le ebe figile ma police ai buza ma questions. So di shoba aya aya investigate. Okay, ma'am. So yena ni fisa ni ngo ibona nze kanga pe yena investigation. Na ni fusu kwa zuka wotum dana mo bula wento. Okay. Futi and that band was in Kwasna was called a little bit of a soul band and but Hatel and on a kaya because Bam Clam Babes a kaya Kaba Akaif Mananga lane then by Fumene Kabam Clam was a peel a kaya of the Eastern Cape in Berlin. The location is Vinich. Sabonga cool, Mama. Well, as you can hear, the mother firstly saying that they are waiting on police uh, investigation. They don't want to speculate on how the children uh, may have died, but uh, they will await those investigations to hear uh, what comes out of those investigations. She says that they have reported the matter to the police, and there's a case that is being investigated by police. But uh, she says she's quite devastated. The grandmother also saying that she is uh, equally devastated. Uh, she remembers the jokes. Uh, you know, in the funny moments that they used to have with uh, the little child. And uh, she says that uh, she even regrets why she had brought him to Johannesburg from the Eastern Cape, uh, because now this has all happened. So they're still hoping for answers and uh, closure as investigations continue. Mm. All right, Manuel Bamkunu, live for us there. Of course, hearing parents also blaming themselves uh, for this and saying that she wishes she left her child uh, in the Eastern Cape and not had him come to Gauteng uh, to meet uh, such a heartbreaking demise. But uh, you can imagine that parents do do that because they're trying to get uh, what seems to be a better chance in this particular province if it's still deemed like that.